And now, the general weather around Alaska. Satellite imagery showing we still have uh, south to north flow coming up uh, across the Gulf of Alaska. Most of the moisture into the eastern North Gulf Coast from about Prince William Sound there eastward. And uh, loose clouds moving into the southeast coast today with lighter rainfall amounts. And some clouds here over back toward the Cuscombe Valley and the Alaska Range. Otherwise, nothing of any organization up to the north all the way to the Arctic coast. And remnants of a low pressure area here over the Alaska Peninsula with some clouds and showers in that area. And then a stronger front weakening those that pushes eastward here. Moving into the central Aleutians, actually, this weakening, washing out band of clouds here, approaching the Nikolsky area. And then a couple more bands of uh, enhanced shower activity here from Adak westward to Shimianat, too. As uh, snowfall levels fall to near uh, sea level there in much colder air to the west. And rolling this through again, you can see how this front really weakens as it moves eastward here. And then a couple, several, three surges of shower activity, each one colder than the previous one, moving into the Aleutians, bringing about an inch of uh, rain to ADAC today ahead of this front with winds gusting up toward 50 miles per hour as well into uh, lighter wind and rain for Atka. And then uh, this afternoon winds gusting to 50 miles an hour at Shimia with uh, this trough approaching the area there and the uh, shower activity about to increase there. And that'll be in the form of snow when it does. Very weak low here that's been uh, slowly moving, uh, drifting for the last couple of days here, but really washing out now just a trough of some shower activity for the uh, eastern Aleutians Alaska Peninsula. Scattered isolated rain or snow showers here from the southwest interior, uh, really becoming isolated up here to the north toward the southern slopes of the Brooks Range. There was some clearing showing up as well, uh, Seward Peninsula area up to Kivalina and portions of the western Arctic coast, but generally a cloudy or mostly cloudy day over the eastern interior, but winds light from the eastern or from the Arctic coast all the way down into the Gulf of Alaska. This warm front here bringing some rain, about a third of an inch to Yakutat today. Lighter rainfall amounts than what was seen yesterday for the North Gulf Coast as uh, uh, still have the next system down here to the south. The previous one yesterday moving through, but still southerly flow bringing about uh, Oh, half an inch of rain to uh, Port Graham there on the southern Kenai Peninsula, as well as uh, Seward and Marlingue Island, all picking up half an inch of rain today. And about a third of an inch, as I mentioned, over toward Yakutat, and even lighter amounts for Portage, Valdez, and Cordova. And for tonight, this system moves due north here, and that will increase the rain again, so look for some heavier rain to uh, move in. Later tonight, and especially after midnight toward tomorrow morning, could be moderate, briefly heavy at times here from Cordova over toward Yakutat into the northern Panhandle, staying dry to the south as most of the flows from south to north yet. And actually, this low trying to pull a little bit to the north northwest. But look for rain and snow to push in over the Kenai Peninsula into northern Cook Inlet, Manuska, Susitna Valley, and the Copper River Basin. Otherwise dry for the uh, remainder of interior Alaska, it's just isolated shower activity, and that's all that's about left here, especially over the uh, southwest mountains there. And still some showers with that trough for the Alaska Peninsula. New low forms on this frontal boundary here, and uh, that uh, swings the front into the eastern Aleutians for tonight with increasing wind and rain there, spreading into the Alaska Peninsula up to the Pribilof Islands and then showers here coming in on strong westerly flow into the western bearing and toward the central Aleutians. For tomorrow, this low uh, continues to deepen, tracks off to the northeast there, probably bringing gale force winds to the southwest coast, especially Nunavak Island area and along the coast with uh, rain and snow pushing in with it. Rain down across Bristol Bay and the Alaska Peninsula as that front continues to push eastward. This low tracking northward moves to roughly around the Denali Park area tomorrow afternoon, so precipitation will become more showery in the form of rain or snow here and tend to end over the Kenai Peninsula. Starts to dry out over the eastern, western North Gulf Coast, but where the front is, it'll stay, look for periods of light rain to continue the entire day over toward Yakutat to Cordova and down across the southeast coast. Dry for the remainder of the interior, maybe some flurries up here around the Yukon Flats, and that's about it. And again, Good westerly flow tomorrow keeps uh, 
Gusty west winds and rain and snow showers over the southern Bering Sea and the Aleutians. And then we'll see on Monday that low uh, tracks northward and holds together pretty well, if not uh, strengthens just a little bit more. Quite a gradient here across the Yukon Delta, so that uh, definitely gale force winds along the coast, wind and colder air pulling in. So mostly snow here from the Yukon Delta northward to the Seward Peninsula along that front. Areas of snow here as that front breaks up over the interior. But look for uh, occasional snow here for south central Alaska and mixed rain and snow for the Turnagain Arm area, Kenai Peninsula, North Gulf Coast, uh, probably rain at sea level mixture up above, but all this area here pretty light precipitation wise. This trough producing mostly showers for the panhandle and another weak low there south of the eastern Aleutians that'll act to just lighten up the winds there, keep a chance of rain or snow going in that area as well as the Alaska Peninsula. Lots of snow shower activity here for the western central Aleutians. And for the lows tonight, uh, five below to five above there for the Yukon Flats, the eastern Brooks Range and uh, around 5 to 10 for the eastern Arctic coast, 15 above for the west side, up to 31 for the low for Point Hope. Otherwise, uh, mild 30s here along the west coast into the Bering Sea, down to the Aleutians falling to near freezing for Shimia, mid 30s, Adak and Atka, upper 30s, lower 40s for Bristol Bay and the, uh, uh, or not Bristol Bay, just the Alaska Peninsula, upper 20s, lower 30s for Bristol Bay, mid 30s, Kodiak Island, 30 to 35 South Central Alaska, 40 to 45 for the Panhandle there, and 5 to 15 in the central part of the state. Highs tomorrow, anywhere from uh, 20 to 25 for the most part. Teens up over the uh, Koyukuk, Upper Yukon Valley areas and the Brooks Range, Eastern Arctic Coast. Warmer to the west here in the 30s to near 40 out toward the west coast, lower 40s for the Pribilofs as well as the Aleutians, mid-40s Alaska Peninsula, near 40 in Bristol Bay, Kodiak Island, and in the 30s here for South Central Alaska, 30, about 30 there for the Copper River Basin, 37 for Valdez, highs in the 40s for the southeast coast. And then lows for the uh, Monday morning time frame, all above zero here, 5 to 15, north of the Alaska Range, west of the Alaska Range, 10 to 20, and then into the upper 20s by the time you get out toward the coast with lower 30 St. Lawrence Island to the Permalofs, lower 30s also for the Aleutians, and then uh, upper 30s for the Alaska Peninsula, and lows staying in the 40s for the southeast coast. And highs, mid to upper 40s, southern Panhandle, mid 40s to the north, still in 30s here, 35 to 40, south central Alaska, lower 30s Copper River Basin, in the 20s in the central interior up to the Brooks Range, 15 to 20 there, all the way out to the Arctic coast.